Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. It is like 4.30, I think. It's freaking cold today. We're only dashing for a little bit. Just kind of took a chill day on Sunday. Just spent time with the fam. Didn't do much. And then I'm like, you know what? Let's get out here, make, make a couple dollars. Why not? So we're in Reston. Order's paying $7. I was just watching the uh, the Vikings Bills game. Right now they're in overtime. I mean, that, that, that whole the whole thing was crazy. Like, I don't even think... The Redskins would fumble the ball like like that, like Josh Allen did. That, that was crazy. But anyways, hopefully the food's ready. Whew, hopefully you guys had a good weekend, a good week, making that money. Let's see if it's ready. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're back in the Dashmobile. The food was not ready. It took him a little bit to get it together, but it's all good. Just going to see we got a fresh haircut. It was a must. Let me know what you guys think about the new intro. I, I like to change my intro whenever we reach another milestone. So I had like a 1,000 subscriber intro and 2,000, now 3,000. So let me know what you think. I like it. You know, I think it's a little bit different, but we'll see. I didn't change the music though, because last time I changed the music, you know, people were coming at me in the comments. You know what I mean? So, but anyways, the goal today, just something, something small, 75 bucks. We're only going to be online until 7.30. It's 4.40 right now, so... I think that's a, you know, that's out there. Hopefully we can, we can achieve that. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Alrighty guys, we're back in the town center. I got the order from Chipotle dropped off. It stayed at $7. No problem. We made it back. And then we got this order here from Sweet Green. We just accepted $6.50. I think it's like less than two miles. And I don't know what Josh Allen was thinking, throwing this horrible interception, like channeling, channeling his inner, like, I don't know, Taylor Heineke from last week, man. Cause that was a horrible throw last week. And I was there, I saw it. But the Vikings win the game. Patrick Peterson still got it, you know. Um, it's crazy, crazy game. The Vikings win. Wow, what a game. What a game. Anyways, uh, the food is ready here at Sweet Green. I feel like Sweet Green is probably, like, the same in every market. I feel like I've heard multiple people talk about Sweet Green and how good they are, you know. I've actually never had Sweet Green. It just doesn't look like something that I would enjoy. And it looks expensive, but if you've had it, let me know how, what it's like in the comments. Let me know, let me know. Now we're only three minutes away here from the drop off. Let's keep it going. Okay guys, we got the order dropped off. I think it went up to 750. Um, and now we're gonna go pick up from this place I've never been to before called Rita Kira Soy. I think it's inside a grocery store that has like a little like food hall inside the grocery. I think, I've never been there. Now I'm taking a risk here because of the number of items. Um, initial payout, fifteen seventy five could go up. It is going 10 miles, but it's not going like out of the zone or anything, which is fine. So we'll see what happens here. But I'm, I think, I think it's one of those places that it's inside the grocery store, which I'm not a huge fan of, but again, I've never seen that name before. I saw 10 items. I'm like, okay, this could be a banger. So we'll see what happens. And I was watching Josh Allen answer the, you know how, like, can you imagine what that must be like? Like you, you know, you just messed up and now you've got to go on TV. Now, people are going to ask you dumbass questions like, how do you feel? What were you thinking? I, I feel like he probably wants to just pull a Marshall Lynch and just be like, I'm just here so I won't get fined or something, you know? Man, but anyways, let's make our way here to this restaurant. Hopefully I'm wrong and it's not inside the grocery store. That'll make it easier, but I can't. I'm trying, I'm trying to picture where it's at and it looks like it's inside the grocery store. So we'll see what happens. Let's okay, go. guys, we're here at the Desert Lounge, which is actually the place. I'm assuming that... This restaurant is like a ghost kitchen. It's set to go through here, so we'll see what happens. Maybe that's it. Maybe these two bags right here. Yeah, for be back, be back. Okay, guys, we got the order picked up. Uh, food was ready. Just, just, just two bags. I did have to take a photo of my catering bag, so it's over a hundred dollars. That guy was literally waiting for me. He was gonna close the store. He said, man, it's dead. It's so slow. I'm just gonna go ahead and close. And when I was leaving, he was locking out the store. So he was basically waiting for me to um, <laughs> to basically close the store. So I asked him like, um, why did I ask him? Oh yeah, how long he been waiting? He said he's been waiting for like 20 minutes. And I was like, well, man, I don't know. They just gave me the order. So, you know, um, so I'm curious about the payout. So we shall see what happens in about 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. It became $18, so a little bit up from $15.75, but look at the base pay. Why is the base pay so stinking low? 
I drove 10 miles for this. And I get it that I took the offer at face value. I get all that. I just don't get the logic with the base because sometimes you get like four or five bucks, you know, and it's like down the street. Now I just drove 10 miles for like what, 225, I think is what it was. I really just wish that DoorDash would be clear with the base pay. That's not, that's not asking much, right? The base pay should be something that, you know, we should know. We should know if you're gonna drive X amount of miles, you're gonna get paid this much as the base pay. But, you know, I guess it's too much for them. But yet they wanna do all these other programs about, I got an email. I think I heard Pedro, Pedro talk about this, like drive, drive safe or drive wise. I, I'll have to look in my, in my uh, deleted emails, but I, I definitely got the email. I'm like, why? And I get it, it's a third party thing, but for me, like, DoorDash has to do all these things, roll out these new programs, and I get it, they wanna do what's best for their business and their business model and get as many orders delivered. And I feel like part of that should be having an app that doesn't just crash all the time. That, that, that's not laggy, that, you know, works as it should. You know, and I'm, I'm not the only person that complains about the app. This, is a, this isn't really a complaint about DoorDash the service, this is DoorDash the app, you know what I mean? So like, for them to be a technology company, why is the app so stinking glitchy? Yeah, they want to roll out all these other things that are like, I, yeah, that's nice and all, but can we can we can we get the core of the app working properly? You know, that, that's just my two cents, and I kind of went off in a, on on a small rant here. But anyways, we got the order dropped off, and then we got this one right here from Total Wine, seven items. I forgot how much it was paying, but I think it was something in the teens. I took it because you know, why not? You know, low mileage. And I knew that I wasn't gonna take me very long. Total Wine is probably my favorite place to shop at because it tells you the aisles and it's super fast, you know, compared to the groceries, at least in my experience. Now, we did one refund because she wanted some seasonal beer that they, they were out of, but everything else, found it right away. Now we're only two, three minutes out from the drop off. The time is six o'clock right now. So we got an hour and a half to get to 75 bucks. I think it, it can be, I think it can be done. It might be kind of close. But you know, small quick shift today. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off. Um, I think it had a ten dollar tip and then the five seventy five base pay. Right now, we're sitting at forty eight twenty five, so almost fifty bucks. Now it's six ten right now. So hopefully, we can get a couple of orders here. Uh, but we should definitely make at least fifty dollars. I would hope. We'll see you guys on the next order. Alrighty, guys, we just accepted our next order here from Big Buns. Let's see if it's ready. Now, Big Buns. I haven't been here. A whole lot to be honest it was paying 9.25 it has a lot of items and big buns is kind of expensive so i'm kind of just hoping that uh you know it's a big order i think it's going four or five miles the miles are not you know the craziest thing but i'm just hoping the food's ready oh look at that they're showing the game up there that's pretty cool hopefully the packers win because you know no one likes the cowboys let me look at the score here real quick i don't think they can copyright this right Let's see. Look at that. Dakota Prescott. Although I do like Dak, though. But let's see. Is it ready? Ooh, maybe it's those bags back there. Yeah, I think it is those bags back there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. No, you're not. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we got the order picked up. It was one of those bags. I thought it was all three of them, but it was just one bag, the one in the middle. Um, but yeah, so now we have a, let's see how long the drive says. The GPS has been kind of funky here with DoorDash. It's a nine minute drive, 3.9 miles, for sure, for sure. And I did see that they threw in a $1 peak pay. So after this, the threshold goes from 625 to 725. But I think because of the time, we might be able to do just one more, to be honest. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see, um, hopefully this one pays more than 925 or whatever it was shown as. But if it doesn't, you know, again, we're at least break 50 and close to 60. Again, the goal is 75. Let's go. Okay, guys, we got the order dropped off and it stayed at 975 or nine, whatever, 925, right? No big deal because right away we got this order here from Fintai. Have not been to this Fintai in a while. This is a Fintai in Great Falls. 10 items. It's paying, I think, $15. I'm pretty confident this is going to go up because Fintai is expensive. 10 items alone. And almost any restaurant will get you over a hundred dollars. So I want to see if I can actually see the subtotal if it'll let me. Let me see. Let me see. Can I do it? Can I do it? 
I can, $130 with 60 cents. Now we're not too far away here from Fintai. We're like uh, maybe five minutes, something like that. So let me get this picked up and we'll see you guys back on the road. Okay guys, we got the order picked up here from Fintai. And it was funny because uh, the, the workers were like, wow, yo, let's get the big orders. And I'm like, well, not always, you know, but I wasn't too far away, but I also wasn't super close. So was I the closest dasher? I don't know, maybe maybe the closest like uh, large order program dasher, I don't know. I think um, it just goes to show you that in my, at least in my market here in Northern Virginia, um, I don't think the whole diamond thing makes any difference because there's so many orders here. You know what I mean? Like there's orders for everybody. There's trash orders, good orders, you know, fringe orders that are not always great. But if you're going in that direction, cool, why not? You know, so I think in my market, it doesn't really work because I don't think you could survive being at a top dasher or like a high priority program because you got to keep your rating so high and there's so much trash to go around you know what i mean so yeah i'm just glad that the order was ready now we have a nine minute drive man today's weather is perfect for some pho or some just hot chicken noodle soup or something uh because it's oh it's chilly you know we're gonna have to definitely bundle up tonight here at work because it's gonna be freaking cold but I think this is gonna pay definitely more than $15. Hopefully this will put us over the hump, but if it doesn't, we have enough time here for one more order. Right now it's 6.52. So we're gonna be there by seven o'clock. And if I get another order like instantly, then we can do it. If not, then most likely this will be the end of the shift, but we'll see. We'll see what happens and we'll see you guys at the drop. -off. Okay guys, we got the order dropped off and man, as beautiful as Great Falls is in beautiful homes, man, at nighttime, most of these houses got no lights. Luckily, the mailbox, a big number, so we found it, dropped it off, and it was paying, I think, almost $23. So now we're gonna finish at $80 with 34 cents. So we hit the goal of 75, and we started, what, like 4.30-ish? You know, pretty, a pretty good mini shift. You know what I mean? We declined 28 garbage orders, completing six orders right here. Pretty good, we were only online for two hours and 39 minutes. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. You know, so not a bad way here to end the week, even though I could have probably dashed earlier if I really wanted to. But to be honest, just spent time with the fam and just wanted to relax a little bit. But for the entire week here, uh, well, let me let me talk about the month, not really the week. For the entire month, we've declined 1,225 garbage orders, completing 143. And for the entire month, we're sitting at 2,000 and 26 dollars with 80 cents i know that's behind where we need to be at you know to be on pace to hit five thousand. but i believe there's still plenty of time and i did you know i took last sunday off because you know i went to the game today i didn't work all of it but we still made a little bit of money 80 bucks we'll take it we'll take it um now the time is 709 i probably could do one more but to be honest i want to get something to eat i'm kind of hungry probably gonna go get a soup or something just because it's cold so anyways We'll see you guys on the next video. Stay safe. Peace.